Good day, this is Neil with Efficient Automation Services here out of Houston, Texas. I'm going to show you guys how to how to do some modifications to a VAV program or a fan power box program um, where we're going to add another zone temp sensor to do an average. And then we're also going to add an analog uh, output for fan speed control. So we're going to go right here into, we're already into engineering mode. Here is the um, the, the application. Right here we see space temp, so we're going for zone control. And we're going to come down here to the ZC underscore CV, uh, CNV underscore option underscore B. Right here we already have our space temp. So what we're going to do is we're going to right click and we're going to duplicate. And we'll just call this two. It's already configured right here to have, um, let's see. So it should already be configured for a TR20 series right here. Temperature, Fahrenheit. So then we're gonna go right here to our palette, spider, uh, spider tool. There it is. Sorry. We're going to bring in an averaging block. We're going to take this link and we're going to delete it. Now we're going to take our output, put it in here, out in here. We're going to go to pin slots and get rid of a lot of these pins. I like clean flow worksheets. Sorry. Uh, we also add in we always add in um, a fan status so that way we can have a physical fan status um, instead of just seeing what the program's calling for. So then we're going to take, here's our two space temps. Here's our output. We're going to relink it back to the space temp for our conventional wall module. It's really that simple. Um, the only issue will be is if this ever fails, um, one of these two sensors fails, it will, it, it will, uh, make the program go funky. So what we like to do is we'll, we'll add in some, uh, logic to show or an alarm to show if one of these goes out that, um, it, it'll, it'll notify the customer. Then I need to go back here. Then we're going to throw in a physical point. It's going to be a modulating output. I'm going to call this This is uh this fan this particular fan power box gets its um speed control from from the BAS. Um not a fan of that, but it does happen from time to time. It's a 2 to 10 signal. So we're going to make our 0% 2 volts. Full percentage, 10. It's our fan speed. Click OK. I also want to bring in a point that we can write to it. So we're going to make it a network set point. I'm going to call this. We're going to have to change the configuration. To unitless, make it valve float, or we can do a percentage. It just depends on how you want to do it. You can do custom. Um, I'd rather just do valve float, and then we'll start off with a with a forty as a default. So that way, if something ever happens, um, communication loss, we're already automatically sending forty percent. Um, so it's really that simple. Uh, for the program that we just did, where it's basically we just add an average in space temp. Um, another thing I'd like to do is take a network output and we call this zone underscore temp underscore average, just showing what our average uh, zone temp will be. 
it's already set up temperature Fahrenheit click OK output we'll go here so now that we've done that now we need to go back to the program which up here has these little tabs that makes it a little bit quicker to go back and forth then we're gonna right click go to views venom config um, I like to change this because we're in in Houston and terminal assignment so we have UI1 should be space temp discharge air temp space temp 2 We have AO1, fan speed control. And we're going to go to DO1 is fan enable. And so I had this box only has one stage of heat. And then we're going to leave our, uh, our damper command alone. Click save. It's going to save the configuration. Click over here. Save it once again. Double click. I like to look at the validation pending just to look at things that are going, go into normal mode. And it's going to, it's going to validate, um, up here, you'll see it turn from red. And once it turns green, we'll know that we're ready for a full download. After we do the download, we'll discover the points and then, um, and then we'll check, verify our program operation. It's just one quick little simple tip. Thank you.